Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's part two of my playthrough of Halls of Hegra, a solitaire game from Tompet Games, designed by Petter Schenker Olsen. In the last video, we had finished the first phase, the mobilization phase, and we're now about to go into the first attack. But just a couple of things before we do that. The last card pulled for the mobilization phase had the weather as snow. And I forgot to move the shoveling snow track back one. I've done that, so that's okay. And the other thing concerned the volunteer I drew from the recruit bag. And the comment said, why not just give yourself back that supply token? And then you wouldn't have had a minus on the morale, no harm done, put the missed token back in the bag, and off you go. And I was thinking, well, you know, it's been done, and we'll leave it as is. But on reflection, I know how hard this game is going to get, and if it's okay with you, I'll, uh, I'll do that. I'll put the supply token back, because as uh, the comment says, no harm done, really. And we'll put the missed token back in the hit bag, and I will put that card back in the low morale deck in case we draw it again. So there we go. Right, let's get on with the first attack phase. And here's the deck we're going to use. So as before, we'll give it a quick shuffle up. And our first card is... We need to increase the walls defending the fortress. <laughs> there we go. Remove one miss token from the hit bag. Right, and it's snowing. Oh dear, I don't think we're gonna get much out of the snow, but let's see. So the weather stays at snow, but we have to move that back again. Dear, oh dear. We now draw up to four recruits from the recruit bag. So let's see how we do. Oh, it's a medic. Well, we might as well do it again, as you saw last time. If we draw a doubt token, we have to stop anyway. I can grab hold of one. Hold on. Oh, it's a soldier. We're going to stop there. And those go into the ready box. No doubt tokens are added, but here come the Germans. We're going to add four units of German infantry down here. So let's have a look at that. So here you can see there are two sectors. And we are going to place those German infantry into sector one. A maximum of five can go in there. If we have more than five in this sector, they move into this one and get nearer to us. What they're doing now is they're coming up to the fortress, up to the walls, and we've got to fight off the advance of the German infantry. So we place our four German units here, a bit unfortunate because there are two states to these German infantry. Standing up, they're fine. They're laying down, they are suppressed. But as we're shooting overhead, the view isn't uh, ideal, but uh, hope you can bear with me. Right, that's finished with. And next on our handout, it says, perform infantry attack. So the Germans are going to attack. We're going to throw four dice. If they throw a five or a six, each one is going to attack the walls there. A three or a four, they will move up into the next sector. So let's put that there. There we go. Let's see what we get. Oops. That's not too bad. We've got a six and a four, so this 
is going to hit in a moment. And we've got a four, which means this will move up into the next sector. And these two stay where they are. This is where this defense comes in now, because having a defense of two means we can deflect two German infantry hits. So for instance, if all four had been attacking the walls, we could um, ignore two of those and two would get through to our defenders here. But no, we're okay. Nothing gets through. Don't you worry. This will be attacked later on in the game and we will have to keep building up the defenses. But for now, that's fine. This stays where it is, but the ones that uh, are involved in actually hitting the walls move back to their starting position. There we go. And this, as you can see, is a red area. And this is to do with this red sector bit here. So we must try and get rid of those, which we'll do in a moment. But before that, let's do this. Move defenders from rest to ready. So these two come across here. And now we can move three across because of the reduced power of the supplies. They are getting scarcer. So we'll use our supply and move three across. We'll use our officer, of course, and two more volunteers. That leaves two to go into the rest area. And now we move those to the action spaces. What are we going to do? Again, the weather is bad, so moving on the supply map is going to be very slow. Maybe we should wait a bit for that. We're fully manned here, so that's okay. But it might be worthwhile having to think about repairing these because they can hit the infantry as well as the German patrols on the supply map. And as you'll see, when we move on to the supply map, they can also attack the airfield that the Germans are landing their troops on. So let's have a look at the maintenance. Well, let's start off by repairing the artillery, or one of them at least. Do we need to bolster this defense up to three? We haven't used promote, but that, uh, I'm sure I've told you about that. An officer and a volunteer go in there and you promote that volunteer to a soldier. That volunteer is basically out of the game, but you've gained a soldier. Move the morale marker up. Well, from last time, because we manned our defenses with three soldiers, we moved up marker. I want to get some of these. There's some great cards in here. Let's shovel snow. Let's use Let's use two of those to shovel the snow back a bit. Well, let's actually use the leader. As there isn't much else he can do, he can't do any of these. So we might as well use him to inspire the troops and move the morale up. Another one, we can draw a few of those cards. Couple left, do we do another supply run or do we move the defense up? Yeah, we're down on supply. Let's get some supplies. So we're going to use one of those to send out another supply run. I know it's snowing. No, no, I've changed my mind. Let's use those two to bolster our defense up and wait for the weather to improve. That's it. So now we do the actions and the first one is defend the walls. We're attacking the Germans. As you can see here, there is a hit range. So volunteers and hunters, if they're in these positions, can only fire on this sector, the officer and the soldiers can fire on both. I think this is how it goes. We'll roll one die for the volunteer because it can only attack into this sector. And then we'll roll three more and see what's left. I think that's how it goes. So let's pop that 
without knocking any of the markers. There. So this is for the volunteer. Hopefully you can see here that one to three will suppress this one for the volunteer. Four to six will hit it and send it back to the pot. Let's see what we get. Four, that's a hit and it goes back. We've also removed it from the red sector. Now we'll do the three soldiers and they can attack these three. Again, one to three suppress, four to six hit. Look at that, oh, that's cleared them out. That's easy you say, but you wait. It starts to get a bit bonkers, don't you worry. But for now, a complete success. These don't get tired, these stay here until they're injured and then they'll move to the infirmary. Right, next, can't do the field artillery. So we've got some movement on the supply map. So let's have a look at that. So we can move one to four. These are coming back. One, two. This goes into the tired area. This comes, oh, they're going this way, aren't they? One, and then one, two. And our hunter's coming back as well. One, two, into the tired area. So, here's our supply supply. Let's just move that down a little bit so we can see this here. So we've moved the supply runs. When they get back, move defender to the tired area. We've done that. We get a morale. Oh, I forgot about that. But the suspicion goes up. And you'll see how that works. If we try a run here, we're going to have to try and sneak past and back. And this number will be important. Oh, pop him on there. Excuse me. We get two supply plus the special. Well, the special is a supply. So we get three supplies. Thank goodness for that. Two for that and the special. So that one's done. This one, we get <laughs> another morale, but up goes the suspicion. So they're getting a bit suspicious, are the Germans? We get another two supply, so that goes to five and another morale. So really, didn't need to do that. And there wasn't much else I could do with him. Oh well, that's my own fault. Well, that's gone up to its highest. I just realized you haven't seen the morale track. Hold on. So the suspicion track has gone up to three. We've moved this from here, plus one, right up to the top. And I was saying we've wasted our officer's action. Didn't think ahead there. But as you can see, lots of decisions to be made in this game. Right, let's do the maintenance. So we've got two to shovel snow. So this moves two to the left, one, two. Hopefully we might be able to get that done next time. What have we got here? Repair. We're repairing one of the guns. But that goes into the hit bag. There we are. Bolster our defenses. And lastly, this one we didn't need to do, but never mind. Because we're as far as we can go on the morale track. Nobody in the infirmary, so let's have a look at morale. It's not a red day. We're not out of supply. There are no defenders in the waiting area or in the morgue. None in the red sector because we cleared them out. So it says add one hope card to the low morale deck. Here's the hope card, which has the same backing as the low morale deck. So that will go into there. So there's a chance we'll pick that if we uh, get this down here. 
But I think because it's got this little plus, that's a bonus. We can do the one below, draw four high morale cards and resolve three. That's more like it. So here's the high morale deck. And you're thinking, well, this doesn't look too hard, this game. Yeah, I'm being very lucky. And don't you worry, it gets a bit bonkers as the game goes on. Right, how many? Four. One, two, three, four. Pop them there for a minute. So we're looking at this bit still. First attack. Move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. Now we can resolve three of these, so that might be worth it. Add two new volunteers to the recruit bag or gain a supply. Again, that might be handy. Remove one of those from the map, one of the uh, German patrols. Move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. Hmm. Well, there's only one German patrol that might affect us getting to the morale supplies. So I think we'll do these three. And we'll pop that back on the deck. So these two, we can move four defenders from the tired to the ready area. These are discarded. So let's move our officer that we didn't use very well. And I think we'll have our hunter and two soldiers. So that saved a bit of supply. And add two volunteers to the recruit bag. Excellent, we've got two in the reserve area. So we pop those in there. And that gets discarded. This goes back to zero. We just check the surrender. So nothing here applies. So that's okay. So now we just check. There's no retreat. That happens at the end of um, the first attack. So we just move the turn marker. Oh, look, three patrols next turn. There we go, right, time for the next card. So we're ready for the next first attack card. But before we do that, I don't think I showed you the hope cards that we put into the low morale deck. They're all the same. And if we draw this, we can gain one supply when this card is then removed. But as it says, it gives us a little hope if we have to draw those low morale cards. So here we go then. Oh, would you believe it? Snowing. Add one to the suspicion and a German patrol. The place is crawling with German patrols, making it more difficult to reach the supply depots. You're not wrong there. We're drawing and four uh, German infantry are being added. OK, let's do that. So, the suspicion is up to four now, and we have to add a German patrol, but this time it's going on this row here. So here we go, let's see what we get. Number five, that's there. Not too bad, we can still skirt around there. We've only got the one. There we go. It still snows, so this thing moves back again. Will we ever get any of those snow cards? Right, let's pull some defenders. Here we go. It's a volunteer, that means an extra supply. I must remember to do that. Again, might as well do it once more. 
another volunteer. Probably those we put in the bag last time. So those go over here and bring with them two more supply, which I'll put up in the supply box there. And then four more German infantry. So one, two, three, and four. Next, the Germans attack. Let's put that there. Four dice, five or six, they're going to hit. Three or four, they're going to move. So we've got a six, so that's one hit. The two is a miss, and the three and the four will move up. A bit worse than last time. This hit, though, is deflected by a defense, so that doesn't work. He goes back. Next is moving our defenders, so from rest to the ready area. We've got quite a few here now. Uh, what are we going to do? We've got three, one, two, three, four, five. We'll use one supply and move three across. Is it worth using another supply just for two? Now let's put them in the rest area. So, oops, let's move up a bit. So we've just used a supply and we're ready now for our actions. So we could fire the artillery this turn. We've got one of these revealed. For each of those revealed, we can do one of these. We can hit a sector and two German infantry will be put back. The rest, if there are more than two, would be suppressed. We could hit artillery. That's not turning up until the siege phases. Or one of the German patrols. Or that airfield I forgot to show you. We'll look at that when we do the uh, supply runs. But once we use that, we have to throw a die and see if it's jammed. And if it's jammed, we have to repair it again. We could try and repair the rest of these. This one in the middle doesn't have this target icon on it, but I think we have to reveal that one before we reveal the second one of these. And to fire that, it must be soldiers or the officer. Again, I'm going to use the officer for the inspire action, I think. This time we haven't got any morale supplies coming back, so we'll push this one up at least one space, so we'll do that. Excuse me, that will go there. Do we want to fire the gun? We've got to get rid of those. And if we fire the gun, we've got to throw four or more, otherwise it will be jammed. Let's have a think. We need three more spaces to get to the end. I'm determined to get some snow cards. Let's use three. And, or shall we use, let's use the hunter, because he can do twice as much work. So that's our three. We'll repair another of the guns. We don't need to bolster our defences. I think we will fire. Yeah, let's fire at these when we do it. So we need two. It's got to be soldiers, though. Let's move those across. We've got two in the rest area, haven't we? Four left. No point sending out anybody for the supply runs because it's snowing again. Well, let's do another repair. Uh, one two, 
Do we need to do anything with those or do we save them? We could move the old morale marker up again. Yeah, let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do now is fire at the Germans. There we are. So once again, the volunteer can only reach the red sector there. So we'll throw for the volunteer. One to three, we suppress. Four to six, hit. Five, lovely. If we're successful with the three soldiers, we can um, change our target for the artillery. Okay, three soldiers. Oh, not too bad. We've got two, so we'll take this one out the red sector and this one. Nothing happens with this. It stays there. So that's attacking the Germans. Next, we fire our artillery. Let's have a quick look on the supply map to show you the airfield. So here's the sort of abstract airfield. And we can do one of these. So remove one air tile stack. That's those. They're not going to come into play until the sieges. We can add two miss tokens or get two morale or move the surrender marker down one. Now, you know what I think? I was going to attack this. German infantry, but if we do that, we have to throw a five or a six. Otherwise, that gun is jammed again. So I tell you what, let's uh, get rid of this last infantryman because we only need to throw a three or more to keep it firing. So he's back in the pot. Bring that back for a second. And we need three or more. Two, no! The gun is jammed. Now oh, that looks better. Dear, oh dear. So we have to use a repair action to uh, repair it. Next though, we're back up at the supply run. And it's still blooming snowing. So these can only move three because they get a minus one. But here we go. One, two, three. One, two. They can't go on the same space. It has to go behind. So that's that. Right, maintenance. So on the maintenance, we've got our hunter and the medic. That means we can move this three times. Hurrah! We can now pick one of these. Let's give them a quick mix. See what we get. Okay. And it is. Water, we get a supply and the morale goes up one. Some of these are for these spaces here, which uh, improve the thing they're attached to. But we've got another supply and the morale goes up. Lovely. Repair. Well, we could unjam that and repair this one. Yeah, let's do that. So this goes back and we get the next one repaired. As I say, I think that means we have to repair this one before we can repair that one. And then we get two lots of artillery fire. But that goes into the hit bag. There we go. And lastly, we are once again moving up the morale two times. 
we're here. Running out of space. Whoops, there we are. These two are in the rest. Okay, that's everything. Nobody in the infirmary, so it's the morale track. Just check here. It's not a red day. Tomorrow is a red day. We're not out of supply. No defenders in the waiting area or morgue. And no, we got rid of them in the red sector. So we can draw four high morale cards and resolve three of them. There we go. One, two, three, four. Gain a supply. Remove one doubt from the recruit bag or gain a supply. Hmm. Add a miss to the hit bag or lower it. The suspicion two levels. We're okay for supplies. So let's put this one back and resolve these. That goes back to zero and oops, forgot. This goes back here to start again. So lower suspicion two. That's better. Add a miss token to the hip bag. I think we've got to start thinking about that now because we'll be drawing from this when we hit the next phase. And remove one doubt or gain a supply. I think we'll remove a doubt from the recruit bag. Actually, let's have a look what we got left. Still got a couple of hunters. So we'll take one of those away and we'll pop those back in the bag. And those are removed from the game. Next, we check the surrender chart. Nothing happening there, so we're okay. Move the turn marker, but we've got three German patrols coming onto the board and the next day is a red day and it's the last day of the first attack phase. So here we go, let's add those um, German patrols. Three of the rotters and they're coming on this row here, as I said earlier. Oh, look, right. There's one. Two. Definitely a bigger bag. Three. What have we got? Number two. That's there. Number four. And, oh dear, number six. That's blocking our supplies there. But at least... Hopefully these can get back next turn. That's it, we've finished the turn. It's now time to pick the last card of the first attack phase. Here we go, let's hope it's a good one. Sunny. Some of our surrounding supply depots were discovered. Remove one delivery token from each of the leftmost two open supply depots. So these are going to go, I think. For infantry, but it is sunny. Right, let's have a look at that. So it says remove one delivery token from each of the leftmost two open supply depots. Well, we've only got one open supply depot and that's the morale delivery tokens. So we'll have to remove one of them because it says from the leftmost two open supply depots. So there we go. 
there's only one left up there now although it does look unlikely that we'll be able to get to it now but it is sunny and we're drawing up to four defenders to so say we'll probably just do the two let's have a look here we are oh great hunter Oh, it's a doubt token, so just this one then. So that goes into the ready box. And we have to put four German infantry on the first attack board. So here we go. We have been pretty lucky with their attacks. Or oh, they've been unlucky. There we go. I think that's everything on the card. They now attack. So as always, five to six, they'll hit. Three to four, they'll move up. So that one is no good. But they've got one hitting us. Two are moving up. This attack is deflected by the defence, so that comes back. We've got two of these now. We've got to try and remove, otherwise that will move our morale marker down the track. But that's that. Next, we uh, sort out the defenders. Move them from the rest to the ready box. And now we have to spend our supplies. I think we'll use two. For the moment. Two, three, and another three. Let's move these across. One, two, three. Hopefully we'll have some supplies coming back. So we'll use another one. Change that up for a four. And we'll move our volunteers across. And these in the rest area. Actions. I don't think there's much point in uh, getting supplies now. There's only one left and there are two German patrols on that track. But I think we'll shovel snow. We'll use a hunter and the medic they're not doing much at the moment we've been very lucky with the with the lack of injuries let's repair this so a couple of volunteers can do that our defense is okay for the moment but as you'll see when we do the retreat at the end of this turn the defense will be coming down now we've got a red day coming up so our morale will go down, so it might be best to move that up. We could promote a volunteer. We do have some soldiers in the reserve. Mind you, we've got some supplies coming back. That is going to give us a couple of morale. So let's just bring that up one more and get some more of those uh, lovely cards. So we'll use the officer. We won't uh, promote anybody, I don't think. We'll use a couple of soldiers. Fire. Do you know what? I think we will promote a volunteer. couple of those to inspire the rest of them. Two left. And I'll tell you what, we'll keep these in the ready space. I think that's all we want to do. It's now our turn to fire at the Germans. 
So once again, we'll use our volunteer to fire at one of those. That volunteer is doing a sterling job. One to three, suppress. Four to six, hit. Four. Does it again. And the three soldiers will fire at these. We've hit two and suppressed one. I think I uh, forgot to do that last time, but in the end, we got rid of that uh, infantry. So we'll use those two. And this one will be suppressed. Firing the artillery. Now, we don't really need to do that. Don't think, to be honest with you, I don't think we're going to be sending out any more supply runs. So we don't need to do that. The artillery aren't on the supply map yet. Let's have a go at the airfield. Because I tell you what, these are going to be placed in the bag during the siege phases. And these have got things like minus one supply, injure one defender and minus one morale. So that might be something to do. We can add two miss to the hit bag or increase our morale by two or move the old surrender marker down. Yeah, the thing is, because we're not doing supply runs, we may well run out of supplies. So let's go after the uh, air tile stack. They are removed to the reserve, I believe. Let's move those out of the way. We now have to see if the gun is jammed. Because the airfield is so far away, we need a six. The only good thing is, if we don't throw a six, we will flip the rightmost tile, which will be this blank one here. But that means we can still fire that but we'll have to repair the blank one to repair the second gun. Right, let's pop this here if I can, without disturbing too much. Six, come on. Oh, no. So this one is jammed, but it does mean we can still fire this one, but, we have to unjam that before we can repair this one. I think that's how it works. While we're here, next is the supply run, so we can bring these soldiers back. One, two, into the tired box. One, two, three. So we get a plus one on our morale, and this goes up, unfortunately. And we get two supply plus another supply. So three supplies. Brings that to seven. Same with this. We get another morale. The suspicion goes up. And we get three more supply. Okay, maintenance. We're shoveling snow. We can move it three spaces because of the hunter. It does mean we can get another snow card. There we go. What have we got this time? Counter patrol. We can start removing patrols on the uh, Supply map. So this will go here. Now, if we use two defenders, we can do that. There is another one here where it's minus two on the suspicion, but that is damaged. It's not working. So we've got to repair that to get the extra benefit. But I'm glad one of those have come out so you can see it. Repair. Yep, we've got to repair this one. Should have done another repair there, but never mind. We're going to promote this 
volunteer. The officer goes back into the tired box. The volunteer goes over to the reserve pile and we bring out a soldier. Lastly, morale goes up. Another one. We're drawing some more cards. Great. Nobody in the infirmary. We have been really lucky. It doesn't normally go as well as this. By the way, that comes back to here. We now get four cards again. We've had to fade in because I drew four high morale cards and resolved three of them without checking the modifiers because it is a red day. So this comes down one. Nothing else applies though. So we'll do it properly this time. We'll only pick three and resolve two. Whoops. One, two, three. Only three left, look. What have we got? Move the snow marker two steps to the left. Move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. And add a miss token to the hit bag. What do you reckon? I think we'll move the snow marker and put a miss token in the hit bag. This goes back. So that's good. One, two. And a miss token. There we go. That's better. Done correctly. And this goes back to zero. Now we look at the surrender. No, there aren't three or more defenders in the morgue, four or more defenders in the waiting area. No, we've been very lucky with that. This may apply very soon. Six artillery pieces on the map. And during the siege, we have to check and make sure we haven't got fewer than the required number of healthy defenders, which at the moment is five. So that's okay. Check the turn track. Nope, there are no German patrols, but it will be the retreat. So we'll move that across ready and let's do this retreat. So the Germans have pushed back the poor Norwegians into the heart of the fortress. They're retreating. And so the first thing we do is place one artillery piece on each space marked with an artillery symbol on the yellow row of the map. Let's do that. So here's the yellow row and we can see that there are little artillery icons. So we're gonna take three of those. Here they are. And pop them on there. Next, move the supply marker one step to the right. So we only get two defenders for each supply cube and lower the defense by one. There we are, told you. Got to keep an eye on that. Remove this first attack board from the main board. Move any German infantry from the first attack board to sector one on the main board and then place one status tile on the machine gun action space. So, sector one. There we are. We'll remove the first attack cards we didn't use because now we are into the siege one phase. But I think we'll leave it there. We'll see what happens when we enter the siege stages. 
the Norwegians have been pushed back, as I said, into the heart of the fortress. We've now got German artillery, which if we don't deal with it, will probably knock seven bells out of us. So we'll see how we get on. We do have a new toy though, the machine gun. So we'll see how we get on next time. But for now, this has been part two of a playthrough of Halls of Hegra, a game from Tompic Games and designed by Petter Shankar Olsen. And as always, I hope you enjoyed that and you found it interesting. And if you did, and you're one of those 40 odd percent of people that haven't subscribed yet, it would be great if you would consider doing that because it really does help. Pushing the like button of the video, the thumbs up, helps as well. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. As always, leave a comment. I haven't had too bad a time of it, so if I am making some misplays, let me know. But whatever comment you make, I love to read them. Thank you as always to my subscribers. Thank you so much. And just before I go, if you want to support the channel a little bit further, there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can buy the channel a coffee, and I'll leave a link in the description for that, or push the super thanks button underneath the video. If you decide to do that, it will be gratefully received and really does help in keeping the little channel ticking along. So thank you. Right, it looks like the Germans mean business. So we'll see what happens next time when the brave Norwegians are laid to siege. But until then, as always, you take care and goodbye.